We explain the 1913 World Series. The 1913 matchup would see McGraw's three straight NL pennant winning New York Giants in their third World Series appearance in a row. The Giants would face their constant postseason rival, Connie Mack's Philadelphia A's. The Giants were driven to win by their two World Series losses in a row, and the A's were driven to win by their desire to win three. The real star of the series was Frank Home Run Baker. He hit 450 for the series with seven RBIs and a two run homer in game one against Rube Marquardt. Other than the strong hitting by Baker and Fred Merkel, who hit a three run homer in game four, this appeared to be a real pitcher's duel World Series. Matthewson came off another 20-game winning season to pitch a win in Game 2 and a final loss in Game 5. The Athletics brought some real firepower with Eddie Plank, Chief Bender, and a young pitcher Joe the Bullet Bush who all combined for the A's four wins in the series. A rumor had developed that the A's were going to throw Game 5 to not pay back game ticket sales in Philadelphia. The A's would win and become the first team to win three World Series. This would be the last series the Giants would see for another four years, and the last series Christy Mathewson would ever play in again. The concern over cheating was put aside when the A's won Game 5. This series saw a ton of future Hall of Famers. Hall of Famers would include Connie Mack, Frank Baker, Chief Bender, Eddie Collins, Herb Pennock, Eddie Plank, John McGraw, Rube Marquardt, and Christy Matheson. <laughs>